welcome to Jenny Fit Start. The most common question I get on my channel is what should my heart rate be when I'm exercising and how do I find it? So uh, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to take you through a formula that shows you exactly what your heart rate should be while you're exercising. So get a piece of paper and a pencil and follow me. We're gonna first start with how to find your maximum heart rate. This is the most you want your heart rate to ever be, but we don't wanna get that high. To do that, it's a tiny bit of math. Two twenty minus your age equals your maximum heart rate. So let's do that math. For me, I'm twenty. So my just kidding. Um, I am forty five. Two twenty minus forty five equals one seventy five. So do your math and find your maximum heart rate. The next thing we need to do is find your resting heart rate. Now, we're gonna take you through the quick, easy way due to just because we're on video, but I'm gonna tell you a different way to do it to make it more accurate. For this video, we're gonna find your heart rate with your two fingers, not your thumb, because your thumb has a pulse in it. Two fingers need to go on your carotid artery. You should feel it thumping or your radial artery, which is your thumb side. You'll feel a tendon and you go right beside it and you'll feel a thump. So find one of those. I'm gonna time you for six seconds. Find it, ready, and begin. Stop, put a zero on the end that is your resting heart rate just for this uh, purpose today. Now, to find your very accurate resting heart rate, you would do it for one minute, right? Either here or here. And you would do it in the bed first thing in the morning before you sit up. And if you wanna make it really, really accurate, you would do it three mornings in a row and take the average. Okay, got it? So, let's do the next part of this equation. My resting heart rate is about 65. And I want to put I want you to put your resting heart rate on your piece of paper. Now we have two numbers that we're going to be working with. Now let's talk about intensity. How intense do we want to be working out? For my seniors, I would like for them to be working out between 50 and 75%. That means 50 to 75% of their maximum heart rate is where I want them to be. 50 on the low end, 75 on the high end. If you Google, you'll see the number 85%. But for me, that's just a little too much for my seniors, so this is the range I have them in. Okay, this is where the math comes in. My dad would be proud. He's a, he was a retired math teacher, so it's just a simple formula, but you do need to probably write it down. So get your piece of paper back out, and let's write down this formula. This is called the Carvonin Method, the Carvonin Formula. Maximum heart rate. Okay, remember that number, maximum heart rate minus resting heart rate times the intensity, that percentage, plus resting heart rate. Oh, my S, what am I thinking? I have a senior in school. I feel like I'm writing her HS, high school, on so many things right now. Okay, so let's plug and chug. Plug and chug some numbers. 
my maximum heart rate, go to your number. Mine was 175. My resting heart rate was 65. Now my intensity, we'll do the first number, which is 50%. So if you calculate that into a number, 0 0.5 plus my resting heart rate again. Okay, and now algebra, we just keep plugging away. 175 minus 65 for me is 110 times 0.5 plus 65. Then I do the math again. 55 plus 65 is, I have my cheat sheet, 120. So you should also have a number. Highlight that number. Now we have to do it one more time using the end range, the 75%. Ready? Let's do this. Maximum heart rate minus resting heart rate. This is the change, 75%, so it's 0 0.75 plus resting heart rate. And then we do the math. 110 times 0.75 plus 65. We do the math. 82.5 plus 65 equals for me 147.50. Now you should have two numbers. What does that tell you? So let's write your two numbers out. 120 to 147.50. This is your target, oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> this is your target heart rate. When you're exercising, this is where you want your heart rate to be. So if you're in the middle of one of my workouts and it's a water break, you would check your pulse for a minute, find that number, and it should be between your two numbers. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, take your time, find your two numbers, and that way you always know where you should be. And just know that different factors affect your heart rate. So it could be your diet, medication, age, gender. So this is very general. I typically use the talk test in class, meaning I want my participants to be able to talk to the person beside them in the middle of a workout. So if they cannot finish a sentence without breathing heavily, their intensity is too high and make them bring it down or bring their arms down. If they're not sweating, they're not warm, their heart rate's below this number, that's the time to maybe give it a little more up, a little more energy, a little bit more arm movement, bigger movement. So I hope this helps. This looks very confusing right now, but if you followed me from the front, um, you should be able to have it. And uh, that's it. So thanks for tuning in.